hello there welcome to the show i hope you are doing well in the previous episode of the series we discussed non metals today we are going to discuss metals and their extractions so let's begin the show metals are a group of chemical elements known for their characteristic properties and widespread use in various aspects of human civilization they have been utilized by humans for thousands of years due to their unique combination of physical and chemical properties some of their characteristics are luster metals exhibit a characteristic luster which refers to their shiny and reflective appearance conductivity metals are excellent conductors of heat and electricity malleability and ductility metals are typically malleable meaning they can be easily hammered or rolled into thin sheets without breaking high melting and boiling points most metals have high melting and boiling points which makes them useful in applications that require resistance to high temperature density metals generally have high densities making them heavy compared to non metals strength and hardness metals often possess high strength and hardness which contributes to their durability and use in structural applications reactivity metal exhibits a range of reactivity some metals such as gold and platinum are highly unreactive and resistant to corrosion while others such as iron and aluminum are more prone to oxidation and corrosion metals play a crucial role in various aspects of everyday life and industries some key applications include constructions and infrastructure metals are used extensively in construction for structural elements such as beams columns and frames transportation metals particularly steel and aluminum are vital in the manufacturing of automobiles aircrafts ships and trains electrical and electronics metals especially copper and aluminum are used in electrical wiring conductors and circuitry due to their excellent conductivity energy production and storage metals are utilized in energy generation technologies such as solar cells wind turbines and nuclear reactors they are also used in energy storage systems including batteries and fuel cells overall metals are essential materials that have significantly shaped human civilization and continue to be indispensable in various fields contributing to technological advancements infrastructure development and overall progress of society there are several common methods for metal extraction depending on the type of metals and the nature of ore here are some of the most common methods pyrometallurgical process these processes involve high temperature operation and are used for extracting metals like iron copper lead and zinc hydrometallurgical process hydrometallurgical methods use aqueous solutions or solvents to extract metals from ores these methods are often used for extracting metals such as gold silver copper and uranium electrolytic process electrolysis is a method that uses an electrical current to drive a chemical reaction it is commonly used for the extraction and refining of reactive metals like aluminum magnesium and sodium it's important to note that the selection of extraction methods 
depends on various factors including the types and concentration of metal in the ore, economic concentration, environmental concerns, and technological feasibility. Different metals and ores may require different extraction techniques or a combination of multiple methods to achieve efficient metal extraction. Metal extraction can have significant environmental impacts due to various factors associated with mining, processing, and waste management. Here are some common environmental effects of metal extractions. Soil erosion and degradation. Mining activities can result in soil erosion, especially in areas with steep slopes or fragile soil structures. The removal of vegetation and the disturbance of land can lead to increased sedimentation in the nearby water bodies, affecting aquatic ecosystem and reducing soil fertility. Water pollution. Metal extraction can contaminate water sources through various mechanisms. Acid mine drainage occurs when sulfide minerals in the ore react with air and water, producing acidic runoff that can pollute nearby streams and rivers. Additionally, the use of chemicals in processing such as cyanide in gold mining can lead to water pollution if not managed properly. Air pollution Metal extraction processes such as smelting can release various air pollutants including particulate matter, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and greenhouse gases. These emissions can contribute to air pollution, respiratory health issue, and climate change. To migrate these environmental impacts, responsible mining practices and technologies can be employed. These include minimizing waste generation, adopting cleaner production methods, implementing proper waste management and reclamation plans, using renewable energy sources and incorporating environmental assessments, and monitoring throughout the mining life cycle. Till now, as we have discussed the characteristics, applications, and extractions of metal, that's enough for now. In the next episode, we will discuss metals in daily life. For more information about this or any episode of the series, check out the blog. Link is in the description. We have additional contents for the readings and transcripts of every show. We have also published our books on Amazon Kindle Publisher. We would love to see your reviews over there. Thank you for coming to the channel and watching the video. I hope you loved the show.